Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kyle Meager and I'm on air for the most requested live Ask Anything chat. I want to say thank you to Romeo and iHeartRadio for having me out today. Uh, and my new song is called Nowhere, so let's hop into some of these questions you guys have sent me. Uh, so this first question is coming from Utah uh, and from somebody named Mary. So hi Mary. Um, she asks, how old are you and you're cute? <laughs> um, so thank you, we're off to a good start. And uh, so I'm uh, 16 years old, born August 1st, you know, Leo's the best. Uh, <laughs> and about the you're cute, I read this as a question originally, so I was like, and you're cute? <laughs> like, I was like, I, I mean, sure, I don't know how to react to that. So uh, thank you, Mary. Uh, anyway, so um, next question. Um, we have Elena from Chesapeake, which I'm assuming is a Virginia, I hope. Um, and she asks, what is your favorite smoothie? So, I'm a smoothie guy. Whenever we go anywhere, I'm always like, I need to get a smoothie. Um, and so, I, I, I kind of pride myself on going places to try these new smoothies. And so, my favorite one has to be, there's one, like, a chain right by my house um, that just sells smoothies and stuff. And I went there one time, and they had, like, this, like, limited edition smoothie offer for an apple pie smoothie, which sounds disgusting! Because that's like a pastry that's also with like yogurt. But let me tell you, this like blew my mind. Like, I need somebody to find me whatever that recipe is, or like if some other smoothie is, chain is selling an apple pie smoothie, like, call me. Like, it was amazing. Anyway, next question. So, my next question is coming from Indiana. Uh, so it's from Aaliyah, and I hope Aaliyah, yeah. And uh, she asked, to whom would you dedicate your song to, and why? Uh, so, some backstory for those of you who don't know. Uh, my song is called Nowhere. Um, and it's about, you know, um, just people who have been telling you that you can't make it and stuff. Um, and just turning that negative energy that people have been throwing at you and just turning it into positive as a motivator, right? Uh, so I'd like to dedicate um, this song to all the people who have told me, you know, you know, it's not going to work out for you, you're going nowhere. Because, you know, without them, I would have never had this amazing song, so thanks for the ideas, guys. <laughs> so this next song comes from Palantine from Las Vegas. Um, what is your go-to karaoke song? So, <laughs> right off the bat, I, my grandfather owns a karaoke business, so I am, like, no stranger to karaoke, right? I love that. Uh, we actually have a karaoke machine right here right now. I would totally bust out my best rendition of Wagon Wheel for you, because uh, that's my go-to, because, like, how can you go wrong with Wagon Wheel? I mean, some people obviously don't like it, but, you know, I find Wagon Wheel to, like, be one of those really awesome songs, whether it's Darius Rucker, you know, whatever. It's awesome. So that's my go-to karaoke song. Anybody catches me at a karaoke party? I got you. So this next question is coming from Jackie from Sunnyvale. Uh, and she asked, what are your other talents besides acting and singing? Uh, so when I thought talents at first, I, I, um, my go-to was, you know, I play hockey. You know, like any good Canadian. I've been playing since I was like four. Uh, but, you know, I feel like you're asking for more of like a hidden talent, like kind of weird thing. So uh, I'm just going to go and say, uh, I can ventrilo whistle. And you're probably going, Kyle, what the hell? is that and to my answer would be it's like ventriloquistic whistling where like most people pucker their lips to a wh whistle and they'll be like <whistles> whatever right and so it's very obvious that they're whistling when somebody does whistle uh, me on the other hand I don't do that uh, so it always it's, it's super funny because I'm like whistling uh, I'm all like <whistles> and they're like who's whistling oh my god and I'm like let me show you guys something so I always find that super fun to do. That's sort of my hidden talent of some sort. So if you ever catch somebody whistling and you're like, it's probably me. <laughs> so this next question comes from Hybrid from DC. Um, and they asked, hey Kyle, are you a fan of Britney Spears? Uh, <laughs> I definitely think Britney Spears has had some awesome songs like, you know, Toxic absolute banger, you know? Uh, Oops, I Did It Again. Like, I bop to that song, like, all the time. So yeah, you might call me a Britney Spears fan. This next question comes from Toronto, so woo, Canada. Um, and it's from Ya. Um, and they asked, when are you gonna cover Despacito? So, um, 
Uh, I do cover songs occasionally. I've done In My Blood, uh, I'm gonna Rip Tide, stuff like that, all the time. So I'm not gonna commit to Despacito just yet, uh, but if any of you are interested in me covering Despacito, absolutely just like comment on like my posts or whatever on my Instagram at the Meager or on my YouTube or something. Maybe you'll see a Despacito cover in the future. So this next question is from Tracy. They're from Winnipeg. Uh, and they asked, how is your Canadian Thanksgiving, uh, and do you do the American Thanksgiving? Um, so, my response to that is that I was actually in America for the actual Canadian Thanksgiving, uh, but of course, you know, we celebrated a day early with the family. We had turkey, you know, talked a little bit, had some quality time, gave thanks, the whole deal. Um, but about American Thanksgiving, um, I feel like I should be celebrating that as well because I'm in, like, America a lot. Um, plus, you know, it's an awesome excuse to have more turkey. <laughs> um, so you know what? Maybe I just will. <laughs> so this next question is from Lona from Santa Fe. Uh, I hope I said your name right. Uh, and they said, hey, I wanted to ask you if you're going to do any concerts soon. And who is your favorite actor slash actress? Um, so, I, uh, I am going to be planning to do some concerts soon. Uh, not going to give out too many details yet, but um, if you follow my Instagram, at uh, thecalmeager, uh, then absolutely you can like keep up to date with where I'm going, like who I'm playing with, all that. Um, so definitely go check that out if you're interested. And um, who's my favorite actor or actress? So. I'm a huge fan of um, Ryan Gosling. Um, like, I think a lot of his works, and just the fact that he comes from around where, like, I'm born, like Cornwall, like, that's just, like, down the street. Uh, so I feel like, like, a personal connection to the guy. I think he's, like, a really good actor, you know, notebook. So, <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely, Ryan Gosling, definitely the way to go. Uh, next question's from Fiona. Uh, she's from Montreal, and they asked, what do you order when you go to Tim Hortons? Now, I bet a lot of people outside of Canada are going, wait, what's Tim Hortons? Is that like a clothing store? No, it's actually a coffee shop. It's a lot like Starbucks, um, except it's Canadian. Woo! Um, <laughs> and when I go to Tim Hortons, I often order a frozen strawberry lemonade uh, with a grilled cheese. Um, and I know that sounds really funny, but their grilled cheeses are like to die for. So, Shannon from Vancouver asked, is there an EP or album coming up for you soon? Uh, I absolutely, like, we have an EP lined up for about February 2019. We've already got three songs written for it. If you've been to any of my concerts, you've probably heard them. Um, and we have four more that we, like, just, just wrote and um, that we're going to be putting on the EP as well. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. It is, like, so good. So, yeah, just uh, check out that early 2019? Yeah. So this next question comes straight from Daytona Beach, uh, and Anne asked, what schools did you go to? Um, so currently I'm homeschooling, you know, just because I've been busy a lot, and um, I used to go to a school called Colonel By. Uh, we've had uh, alumni such as Tom Cruise, uh, <laughs> Brian Adams, and Vanessa Morgan come out, come out, come out of there, so like obviously like pretty big hub for entertainment apparently even though it's not an entertainment school actually it's a um it's actually like a nerd school for uh, you know people like me <laughs> anyway um <laughs> so this next question is from dana uh they're from detroit and they asked who's the most famous person that you've wanted to meet but haven't yet uh so i'm like a huge fan of sean mendez uh, Toronto guy, obviously Canadian, um, and I've been to like, I've been to his concert before and like a festival that was in my town, um, and like absolutely love the guy's song, his act, and he just seems like a really nice guy. So I'd like totally love to meet Sean Mendez, uh, you know, maybe in the near future, uh, just be like, yo, what up, Sean? He'd be like, so yeah, definitely Sean Mendez. Um, so this next ask uh, is from Derek. Derek's from LA, and uh, he said, I love your song, Nowhere. Can you tell me the story behind it, and was this a personal experience? Um, so thank you for loving my song. Um, and to answer your question, yeah, 
like this was like totally a personal experience. I had somebody who used to be my friend. Uh, they said, "Hey, you know, like why are you doing the music and why are you doing the acting? It's not worth it. You know, it's not worth your time. Like just drop it. You're going nowhere with it." Like literally told me that. Uh, so when I sat down to write a song, I kind of wanted, like, I was really thinking about that, and I was like, I want to show him, and I want to prove him wrong, and I want to use his own words, you know, just to propel me forward, you know, prove him wrong. Um, so that's kind of where I got the idea for Nowhere, um, so absolutely a personal experience. <laughs> Uh, so guys, thanks again for sending in some wonderful asks, um, and thank you to Ask Anything Chat and Romeo uh, for having me out here to answer your questions. My new song is called Nowhere. If you want to keep followed about what I'm doing, uh, follow me on Instagram at, at Um and you know, we'll probably see you out on the road soon.